Hi everyone, this is Anita with OutsideTheBox.name and in this tutorial I am going to show you a quick and easy way to turn your image 180 degrees and then have it reveal a different image. Let's just start by showing you this effect. I'll play this slide and here you see one image and it turns and then you'll see a different image. And for this uh, effect I am using a slide with a slide time of 6 seconds but of course you can make your slide a little longer or a little shorter, whatever you like. Let's just remove all the images from this uh, slide. So starting from scratch I'm going to pull one image in. And yeah, here you go. And I'm going to give this uh, image certain values. I'm going to give it a zoom of 80% and I'm going to give it a tilt of 20. Um, now let's make it a little sh smaller, 65% and I'm going to uh, copy the settings from keyframe 1 to keyframe number 2 so now this image will show the same over the entire duration of the slide of course this is not what I want, I want it to turn at a certain point so I'm going to uh, take that last keyframe and I'm going to pull it in all the way before halfway the slide like so and then I'm going to add another keyframe and adding another keyframe is as simple as a double left click over this timeline and whenever you add a keyframe behind the last keyframe that keyframe is going to be identical with the one in front of it so it will have the same settings, the same values so keyframe number three is identical with uh, keyframe number two and what I want to achieve is this image needs to turn between keyframe number two and keyframe number three and it has to turn 180 degrees so I'm going to click on keyframe number three and I'm going to change this horizontal tilt to 200 which is 20 that it already was and then 180 added to it makes it 200 so now this image will turn between two and three let me show by playing the slide and here you see the image and there it goes and then it disappears and it disappears because this is the last keyframe here and I'm going to uh, make it show over the entire duration of the slide so I'm going to add another keyframe at the end of the timeline here and like I told you before if you click another uh, keyframe at the end or behind the last keyframe it will have the same values as the one in front of it so it has a uh, horizontal tilt of 200 this is the first phase so now I'm going to uh, apply a, a little trick I'm going to add a keyframe in between keyframe 2 and keyframe number 3 so I'm going to double click again and I'm going to play with this third keyframe and I'm going to slide it over the timeline until I see this uh, image in this um, preview window turn uh, 90 degrees that's where you can no longer see the image um, you don't have to be absolutely precise. If you can manage to get it exactly 90 degrees, you can um, leave it at 91 or 89, but try to stay as close to 90 as possible. So here we go. Let's just see if we can accomplish to get it turned to 90. Almost, yes, looks like 90. Um, if you look at the horizontal tilt box, it says 113 but you have to left click on this um, keyframe to get the exact value and it says 90 there it is I give you some uh, I have to give you some information about uh, keyframes that are added in between other keyframes because if you add a keyframe in between keyframes the values of that keyframe are going to be unstable they all depend on the keyframe values in front of them or behind them so as soon as I start changing um, values and keyframes uh, 2 or keyframe 4 then the values of uh, keyframe number 3 are going to change as well and um, we don't want it to happen later on in this tutorial I'm going to remove keyframe 4 and keyframe number 5 and I want this keyframe number 3 at the same spot here and I want the value to stay remain 90 I don't want it to change there's a way to uh, know for sure if your values are uh, stable or unstable that's by looking at the boxes behind the uh, the settings and here you see the boxes are all empty and if you click keyframe number one you see there's check marks in those, em in those boxes 
So that means that those uh, values are all stable. Mm, keyframe number two has check marks as well, and keyframe number three, they're all empty. So I'm going to click in this box here, and I'm going to type in 90, and then it gets a little check mark behind it. That means that uh, whatever I'm going to do later on with the uh, keyframes in front or behind it, this value will remain 90, even if I'm going to drag this keyframe to a different position. Of course, I should do the same thing with the zoom and pan and rotation values, but um, because keyframe 2 and 4, they all have the same values, um, I don't have to really bother with them, so they will stay where they are. Okay, so this is part number 1. I'll uh, play the entire slide again so you can see what happens. Um, it turns, and then it stays there. Of course, we want to see a different image after it has turned. So uh, the second phase is to turn or to uh, duplicate this layer. We right click on it and we say, mm, where is it? Duplicate layer. Now we have two identical layers. And I'm going to replace that bottom layer with uh, another one. So I'm going to pull another image over this layer. And now I have two different images with the exact same setting. And I think there are some people that might think that if I play this, uh, you will see the second image as soon as the first one turns. But you don't, because this one is turning to uh, 200 degrees, and so you will still see that top layer. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to um, layer number one, and I'm going to uh, last keyframe, and I'm going to right click it and say delete and I'm going to click on the fourth and say delete so now this first image uh, will stay on the screen till 2 and then it's going to turn until it turns 90 degrees and then it will disappear because it only has keyframe 1, 2 and 3 and keyframe 3 ends here so if I play it now you'll see the first image and then you'll see it turn and then you see the second image however you might have noticed I added some text on this uh, on this image and I did that on purpose because that um, that image is going to show mirrored and we don't want to see a mirrored image uh, underneath that first one so I have to make some adjustments and so I'm clicking on the second image and on the adjustment tab here and I'm going to flip this image horizontally so I'm going to click in this box here and you see here the, the image is um, the original image is, looks like this and now I, I flipped it horizontally to see it mirrored but because in this um, effect uh, you will see it um, uh, tilted 200 degrees you will see it as if it is the original picture let me play the entire slide again here you see the first image and it turns and then you see the second image and this is how it how it's done uh, thanks for watching and see you next time